Jack State University is less than a week away from playing in the Celebration Bowl. And we already know after the game, Coach Prime going to go off to the sunset to go over and coach the University of Colorado, in which we know QB wants to do a Sanders, he's going to go along with him. We know there's going to be some other athletes from Jack State that's going to transfer and go ahead on with Coach Prime as well. But you know what? The Jack State Tigers coaching staff that will remain have not slowed up on trying to get these athletes into the program. And there's one young man in particular that they offered to become a Jackson State Tiger football player. And I'm going to tell you right now, if this young man shows up on campus, y'all better get ready. Because trust me, Dr. Goods, he can get after it out there on the field. We're going to talk about him right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. Tap in a friend or two. Tell them to come on in. You know I'm a positive vibes. We just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. And for all of you that have already subscribed, don't forget to hit that post notification bell because guess what? That means you'll get all of the videos as I drop them. You're going to get them right on time so you can check them out and see what's going down. But guys, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing and get straight to it. Because I know you're like, Coach, what you got going on over there, man? You, you excited over there, brother. What's happening with you? I'm going to tell you this. We've seen several players from the two-time SWAC Jack State Tigers football team decide that they want to take their challenge and go jump into the transfer portal, which is understood because some of them, they were there because Coach Prime was coaching the team. And now that he's ready to make their move, they're like, man, you know what? Things ain't going to be quite the same as they once were. But you know what? Sometimes you got to be willing to roll the dice on your talent and understand exactly what's going on. And take a look around the room and see who's all still standing once the smoke clears. Because you got to understand this. Jackson State ain't done recruiting. They still out there on the trail getting these athletes, making them offers, letting them know, hey, listen, we want you here to be a part of this program, man. So guess what? If you decide you want to go and they put something together that's steaming, y'all going to be mad as all outdoors, boy, because you'll be like, man, I was a part of that and I left? What in the world was I thinking? But, you know, it always starts with who's going to be your signal call out there on the field. And you already know. Jack State got to have them a quarterback out there that can do that thing, right? So if you're not going to get out there and get them quarterbacks to come in the house to see who's going to compete for that number one spot, man, you got to be crazy. And I'm going to tell you this, this young man that got an offer to become a part of the Jack State Tigers football program, <laughs> look here, this young man is homegrown. He's from the state of Mississippi. Matter of fact, let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to drop a little something on you right quick. This young man played high school football at Madison Ridgeland Academy in Madison, Mississippi. Y'all know who I'm talking about, don't you? No. Oh, y'all don't know who I'm talking about. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let me give you a little something else. I know y'all probably, oh, coach, here you go again. Here you go again, coach, with this stuff. No, no, hear, hear me out. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. This young man that I'm talking about led MRA to a state championship while throwing for 3,545 yards, 37 touchdowns, five interceptions while leading MRA to a 12-2 record in a MAIS Class 6A state championship. Y'all still know who I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, this young man just showed out this past summer. I know we get, we're getting into the end of the year where, you know, we're going to switch over to 2023. But if you pay close attention, there was a camp that went on in Mississippi, the Big 40 camp, where they had the top quarterback from Mississippi, Alabama, I think Louisiana might have some from Texas, maybe Florida, somewhere, you know, somewhere like that. You know, they bring all the big time, the big time quarterbacks in there, you know, show off your skills or whatnot to see what you can really do out there on the field. Well, guess what? This young man, as well as another quarterback that is currently at MRA, they took home top, not they took home the top awards. Yeah, man. The top award, listen. <clears throat> The top awards that they took home, these young, both of these young men, they won uh, overall MVP Top Gun, the 2004 Top Gun in the first 601 Elite Quarterback Big 40 camp. Now, I know y'all like, Coach, all right, enough is enough. Who is this cat you talking about? Well, let me tell you this right now. This young man that I'm speaking about is a quarterback, none other than Mr. Phillip Short, 
six foot two, 215 pounds. Philip Short played at Mississippi Gulf Community College. This young man has a strong presence in the pocket. Will stand in there and get that ball down to the field to his receivers. Has no problem with delivering that ball with accuracy as well as the touch on that ball to where it's going to allow the, the receiver that he's throwing to to be able to catch that pass coming from him out of his hands. And I'm going to tell you, this young man puts the ball in places where it allows his receiver to catch that pass and not the defender to have an opportunity to intercept the ball that's being thrown, especially on that long ball. I mean, hey, he'll put one corner pocket on somebody where they're so tight, it's just nasty. While at Mississippi Gulf Community College, through eight games, short through the ball for 1,976 yards, 15 touchdowns. Average passing plays per game was 247. Now, I'm hoping this young man accepts the offer and decide he wants to bring his talents to Jackson State. Now, I do understand before when he was first coming out of MRA, he had an offer to go to Southern Mississippi. I'm just hoping this young man say, hey, you know what? I think I want to go check out this HBCU, JSU, and get over there and see if they really got going on. Because trust and believe, this young man come out there and touch that field, oh, it's going to be dynamic, especially with the receivers that's possibly left over there for that program. Like I said before, everybody's not going to go. Some folks are going to want to stay, and they want to put something together to where they can get out there and run this thing back, not only a second time, but a third time. So, I'm going to say this right now. Congratulations to Philip Short on receiving an offer from Jack State University. I'm hoping to see you out there on that field next season in one of those Jack State Tigers football uniforms showing up and showing out for the state of Mississippi, letting them know, hey, listen, ain't nothing changed over here but the numbers that's on the field, and we're still going to get out there and get after it. So get out there and make sure you go ahead and represent for your Jack State Tigers football team out there because you already know them JSU fans going to love to have no Philip Short out there. Y'all touch, hey, tap him on the show and say, hey, man, you need to come on over to Jack State. Quit playing around, man. But you know what? Coach going to go ahead and get up out this day right now because, I, hey, I know I done probably bored y'all enough with all this. But until next time, be the one and lead.